Good afternoon. I'm back. Well, sorta. I'll explain next video. But for starters, you read the title. And I'm just gonna make myself very clear based on this title. So I basically felt it upon myself to edit and re-upload my quick review of LGBTQ because certain words are insulting. Doing research, I respect the fact why they're insulting, okay? Um, I understand that times have changed and I've gotten to an age where, you know, I grew up with the terminology, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. I still believe in that though. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. But things change and for some reason words change and how you say things change and you know what, cancel culture, I've gotten tired of the changes. You know, it's very difficult. See, what you young kids and a lot of people amongst cancel culture who are first to react, and I tend to notice that online, a lot of people who are part of cancel culture who are like the first ones to react to something are usually very young because they think growing up, they this is what they grow up as, the way they're thinking and that's the only way to think. And then they think that, for example, they can go back to the song, Baby It's Cold Outside, that was made in like 1940 whatever, and they think they know everything based on how the words were said, based on that song, when it was sung decades way before most of us were alive. Do you really think you can judge how people are decades before that we we're alive when the song had no ill intent it's not about a guy taking advantage on a girl during Christmas Day I can promise you that was not the intent of the song I remember re-listening to that song I'm like this is ain't that bad but for some reason something has changed within life and you automatically assume that whatever was said back then should be felt the same as is now and without understanding what the word meant or what the phrase meant back in those days, you automatically think it's insulting and you want to cancel it. So based on my video of LGBTQ, I edited what I had no clue was a T-slur. Uh, words that I grew up with that were very appropriate at the time and I can even show you um, online articles saying how certain words are old and outdated <clears throat> um, how they're old and outdated and which means there was a time certain words were appropriate just say them the right way but I edited the video just for you people just in case you know, um, just in case there is a community out there that gives reason why things are now insulting. Okay, all right, good. Here's where I plant my roots into the ground. This is where I'm gonna be like a tree. I'll accept that certain words for good reason changed, particularly with the trans, transgender community. Okay, for example. And as long as certain informations are presented to me as to why something might be insulting or not insulting, not just because you feel like it is, I can go with that too. Here's where I stand my ground. I don't want to hear 50 years from now that I said the word transgender that, well, based in 2024, when I Google it, um, is a very appropriate thing to call someone who's transitioning into a new gender or is in the process or wants to do it. I don't want to hear 50 years from now, Dominic, that's insulting. As much as we want to keep up with the times, you have to respect how times were. I, I am not the weatherman. I cannot predict when something may or may not be insulting 10 years from now, 20 years from now, that's appropriate in today's world. Make up your minds as to what is insulting. 
and stick with it. Otherwise, you have no function, no structure, no form as to what is or what is not allowed. You're just making things up as you go along. I could take the most noble, good-hearted word in the world and make it sound bad if I say it a certain way. Now that word becomes insulting. People, we're gonna run out of words. So, cancel culture. I've tried my best to get along with you and even before I started trucking, before I left New York, the headaches that you've given me and other people because whether it's you can't make up your minds or, or times have changed too fast or you don't understand that any word can be insulting when said the wrong way. Either way, I don't want to live in a world where I can't say anything and I don't want to live in a world where everyone is afraid to say something just because something changed within five minutes. I, I, I don't make up your minds for now. As far as transgenders, in my review video of LGBTQ, the word transgender is an appropriate word to use. If that changes in 10 years from now, I am not going back and deleting this video. I cannot predict if it becomes insulting. Please make up your minds. Please. Thank you.